Hello everyone, and today I have some really exciting news for you because today, Boom finally gave us a bunch of new hot leaks regarding the first part of episode 77 once again after such a long waiting period. So today we have three new leaks and also an audio clip which Boom sent to our well-known buddy Steak once again, and I'm here to tell you everything you need to know about them. In this video, I will analyze all the leaks that we've got for you guys and find the most important details about them. And I will also share my predictions about the upcoming episode. And what is even more important, by the end of this video, I will also tell you something really crazy that no one else explained to you yet about this audio clip that Boom sent to Steak. Now get your tea and snacks ready and prepare to watch this video to the end because it's going to be very interesting. Let's go! And be sure to also hit the like button under this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already because I am making a lot of Skibidi content to entertain you guys in the moments when we all are waiting for the new episode to get released. Okay, so if you are subscribed now, let's move on to the leaks. So it's no wonder to everyone that a really long time has passed already since the release of the last Skibidi Toilet episode. And it's 12 days that almost passed after he published the full version of episode 77. And if you think that it's weird that we have to wait such a long time again for the new episode to get released, then you surely weren't up with the latest news that Boom was exposed to. And by that, I mean the very unfortunate situation not long after it was announced that the future collaboration between Boom and the Hollywood producers on a major Skibidi movie is coming. And around the same time, Boom had to deal with the sudden DMCA notification related to Gary's Mod, the game that inspired the entire Skibidi Toilet series. And if you're not familiar with this drama, I highly recommend checking out my video where I break down everything that happened. So this whole DMCA situation has significantly slowed down the final production of the episode, and that's why its release was postponed a lot. But now finally, after several days of complete silence, Boom came out on our radar again, and he contacted the YouTuber named Steak, which already happened in the past, and revealed lots of new information about the upcoming episode 77 to him during Steak's most recent live stream. And it's also not the first time when Boom went somewhere beyond his Discord realm to share some precious info with other Skibidi creators. Because in one of my recent videos, I also mentioned how Boom was even spotted in the Roblox chat, dropping some bits of info regarding the 77th episode. So now we got three leaked pictures from the upcoming episodes, as well as the edited audio clip, which is the juiciest leak we've received so far. And the first leak is the most unserious and least telling out of them all. But still, it's really worthy to talk about. And in this picture, we see the distorted face of some skibidi toilet with a huge smile on his face who's trying to jump out of the screen right in front of us. And it's pretty difficult to say anything specific about this guy because there aren't any real details about his face that would give out that he's some special character or anything like that. We don't even know if this skibidi toilet is a part of G-Squad, which is definitely going to be featured in the next episode, by the way. Or is it some random dude who was attached to Boom's Discord messages to stake just for fun? And by the way, speaking of Boom's messages, before posting that picture, he revealed something really important to stake. But what it was, I'll tell you by the end of this video to be sure to watch it as a whole, not to miss the most important stuff. Now let's move to the second leak that stake received from Boom. And in this picture, we can see the similarly looking surroundings that really remind me of the last episodes that we saw. And by that, I mean the environment from different parts of episode 76. The forest area looks especially similar, as well as the ruins of the city that can also be seen in this picture. It seems like the POV who's holding the gun is being present in the area somewhere nearby the city we saw in episode 76, where the POV tried to leave from but got to Astro Duchess's hands unfortunately for him. And by the way, speaking of episode 76, the POV from this second leak really reminded me of the big cameraman with the huge cannon in his hands that could be seen in the beginning of the second part of that episode. And it was him exactly who showed the coordinates of the escape route for the POV and the rest of his team. And after that, he stayed with Mecha cameraman scientist to cover the guy's backs from the countless waves of Astro Toilets demolishing the whole city. So it is possible that this guy survived as well, and he's going to continue his mission on fighting Astro Toilets or protecting the other survivors, both from the Alliance's forces and Skibidi army. And we should also not forget that Mecha scientist cameraman was present in the earlier leaks as well and it was heavily hinted to us that he's about to meet the members of G-Man's squad. 
so it is possible that Mecha scientists G-Squad and even G-Man are all somewhere in this area, and the events of the next parts of Episode 77 are about to collide soon. Okay, and now it's time to address something even more important that can be noticed on this leak. And of course, I am talking about the freaking chair once again. And this time it wasn't even partially hidden, but instead it could be seen right in the center of this frame. And it's not all about it. It also seems to me as if this chair was literally caught in the beam of bland yellow light and got exposed by someone. And considering how many times this chair already appeared on the screen in the latest couple of episodes, it is logical for me to assume that we will finally get a huge reveal regarding this chair really soon, because Boom implied it a lot of times in the series that this chair is not just a gimmick anymore, but it certainly holds some real importance. And it's either connected to some representative of the new race, although it wasn't confirmed by Boom at the moment, or it may be connected to the secret agent himself, or even Male 07 who got to the surface again in the course of the last leaks. And what is the possible source of this bland yellow light that seemingly captured this chair in the air? Could it be the Polycephaly TV man who is definitely in the city as well right now? Because he was the one who's supposed to help the survivors escape in the big containers, just like in episode 66. So is it possible that it was him who captured this chair with the special ability of his white screens from the earlier episodes? Which could mean that TV men could be the first race to actually capture whoever is operating this chair and that the Alliance is about to get to know it better soon. Or maybe this picture was edited by Boom, and in fact this is the green light, which means that it's coming from the secret agent, who could also be noticed in the most recent episode not long before Astro Duchess showed up. So yeah, I have a lot of interpretations of this scene, and we still don't have the clearest picture yet. So I guess we'll have to wait for the episode anyway, in order to see what actually happens with this damn chair that deprives me of sleep throughout so many days already. Okay, and now let's move on to the third visual leak that we have, and it's something that brightened my mood a lot. Because in the third picture, we can see the image of the heavily upgraded DJ Toilet once again, and this time, he looks even more dope than in the first part of episode 70. And the first thing about his changes that got my attention the most is of course the yellow glasses he has on, because it instantly reminded me of old golden days when G-Man used to wear these glasses too, although it wasn't for a long period of time. So it seems to me that he got improved significantly since the last time we've seen him, and now he's the fully operational member of G-Squad. And now he has not one, but two DJ controllers instead of one, as well as two sets of epic speakers and two huge guns above his head. So I believe that he's completely ready for whatever comes to him in the next episode, and Astro Toilets should definitely beware of his power now. Because do you remember who was the reason for his downfall in Episode 70? Astro Detainer, guys. So I bet our DJ boy really wants to avenge his past self with the new upgrades he finally has. So it's possible that the battle from the upcoming episode will be really heated, and DJ Toilet is going to play a pretty important role in it. Alright, and now it's time to move to not one, but actually two audio clips that Stake also got from Boom recently, and to the date of the release of the actual episode. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, what I've heard from it nearly blew off my mind, because these audios can be either just complete jokes from Boom, or maybe there are more layers to them. So the first audio clip lasts only for 10 seconds, so listen to it first. So what the hell this even is, you can ask me? Well, it all started from the Roblox live stream where not only Stake, but also Creekcraft and Boom were present. And Stake was joking with Boom as he told him that it would be really cool to feature him in Skibbity Toilet series next time somehow. And Boom actually agreed to this and told Stake to quotation record me screams and I will use them. Which Stake did right away, and it was pretty damn hilarious too. And he really recorded those screams in the special program and sent them to Boom too. And these screams are exactly what you can hear in that audio clip. And at the end, you can also hear a meme fart sound, which lots of streamers use as a joke, and Stake is no exception. But what is happening in this audio anyway? I believe that we could hear the sounds of a fight between the characters that were featured in the latest leak. It is possible that we heard the shield activation sound that could be used by the big cameraman with the huge cannon from episode 76. And after that, it is possible that we heard a sound of some astro toilet that got destroyed in the really humiliating way. And that's where we heard the stakes meme screams. Okay, and now it's time to move to the second audio clip I have for you guys. And well, it was definitely something else, so listen for it yourselves. 
Stay. What the fuck? Hey, Stay. English or Spanish? Whoever moves no. first is no. gay. Aside from the legendary English or Spanish meme, I couldn't really discern anything important from this audio clip. But me wouldn't truly be me if I didn't try to find all the missed details I possibly could. So I even re-listened to this crap a second time in the row, but this time, vice versa. Could you catch anything important in here, guys? So if you heard something sauce, then be sure to share it with me in the comments below, because I really have trust in you. Well, and the last question remains now. When is episode going to finally come out? So in his message to Steak just before he posted the first leaked picture, Boom tells Steak that the first part of episode 77 is going to come out next day or day after. Which means that we are about to finally see the episode either on Sunday or Monday. Although it is possible that it can also come out on Tuesday's morning, because we don't really know the exact time zone Boom is referring to in these messages. So now we finally have some hope, and we just need a couple more days to see the new episode. And that was all for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, hit the like button below and also be sure to write a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube and Discord channels not to miss my new interesting videos. And that was me, Isotoilet. See ya!